My first impression of the guy was that this is one of the smartest people I've ever met. Smart, fun-loving, and hardworking. That's what you hear over and over again when people describe John Spence. I wanted to become an entrepreneur because I was tired of working for a big company that had all kinds of policies for everything. Loving life, but nearly burnt out on the fitness industry from the headaches of managing a big box club. John got his mojo back after talking to one of the co-founders of Anytime Fitness. When Chuck Runyon called me and said, hey, you need to look at this concept, you know, and I started thinking about what I didn't like about my business, they eliminated all of that stuff. Keep those abs tight, you got it, now down. Up, good man, perfect. John hooked up with personal trainer Mike Gelfgott, and together they opened one of the very first Anytime Fitness Clubs in Aurora, Indiana. I think we were like the 20th franchise to sign, and I think we were the 17th or 18th to open. I want people to actually enjoy coming into the club. That's why the atmosphere is real goofy, especially with the staff that works here. And we always do try to do some fun things. After immigrating to America from Uzbekistan at age 11 with his mother, Mike developed an amazing work ethic. And Mike is a wind-up doll, man. You wind him up, you put him in a direction. You know, typically it's go sell memberships or go sell training. You know, take care of members. And he does it better than anybody. You got it. Ten. Good oh, man. Woo! When membership soared at the Aurora Club, John recruited his college roommate, Chris Slater, to help open another club. He gave me all the insight as to what kind of numbers they hit, and I was speechless. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Led by John, over the next three years, the Three Amigos opened four new clubs. In the early days, I mean, we worked a ton of hours. I get them through the door, you know, Chris trains a lot of the salespeople that, uh, that close the membership sales, and then Mike runs the personal training program. And, and over 20% of our members train with a personal trainer. Me and Mike, my other business partner, lived out of a hotel room, and basically all we did was, was work. That's not completely true. Clearly, these guys know how to have fun. Every year in the first quarter, we put together a sales promotion, and we push our people hard, including ourselves, and if we hit a goal, we set a goal uh, before January 1st, if we hit a goal, we take everybody to Mexico. We've done it four years in a row. We take them to Cancun. Last couple years, we stayed at the same resort. We try to set a goal that's aggressive, yet we think is, is attainable. But after that, you know, we relax, the pressure comes off. I start scaling back my hours, try to enjoy some stuff uh, in the summertime. So what's their secret? How have they managed to achieve 1,000 members in each of their five clubs? Our biggest goal is to get results, because we know that if you get results, you tell everybody. When I sit down to some, with someone to talk about fitness, my intention is not to sell a membership or personal training. I don't care what they buy from me. All I want to do is be able to motivate them, to inspire them, and to educate them, and just to be a little bit better than they were yesterday, that's it. And when that goes through, that's really the art of selling fitness. When that goes through, they will buy from you every single time because your true intentions are to help them, not to get a buck out of them, you know? Each member has an opportunity to accumulate fitness bucks. Promos like Christmas and August help build a sense of community within their clubs. You're always greeted when you enter the door, you know, with a hello and your name. You're comfortable when you come in. You don't feel like, oh gosh, I'm out of shape. I don't belong. I don't fit in. For all these reasons and many more, John Spence is the Anytime Fitness Club Operator of the Year. Predictably, he gives credit to his buddies. But it's really all about uh, Chris and Mike as well. Obviously, there's no way I'd be here, you know, as a finalist for Club Operator of the Year. And, you know, running five successful clubs, working on number six, if it wasn't for those two guys. Fun-loving, hard-working, and smart. That is John Spence.